So today I have a small cabinet. Uh, this is the size of my hand and the size of the cabinet. I got it for about I think twenty dollars from Carousel Singapore, and I'm gonna be covering it uh, with a polyurethane stain varnish. This is Kim Tone. Eight dollars nine ninety cents for a three hundred milliliter can. I think you can find it some cheaper somewhere else, like compared to where I went to find it. So I did a search for Kim Tone, and I did find something that uh, is the same as what I bought. So this is the one, and if I set it to three hundred ml and that metal, which it cost is six dollars but if let's say I were to buy it and with the shipping it would actually cost seven dollars and forty nine cents so I think the price is kind of okay for something that I could get on the spot eight dollars and ninety cents so the hardware that you see here it's kind of a uh, brass but I'm actually thinking of uh, changing it to this rose gold colour from Thailand. Although um, I did have a previous uh, furniture before. So this is black and the colour of the rose gold stands out here. But I'm not sure whether it will actually stand out if let's say the base is brown. So I'm just going to color, remove the hardware, I'm going to color the base and then I'm going to try and see whether the gold will look nice against the brown. So off to remove the hardware. It's not that obvious on camera, but uh, there is actually a bit of a dotting on the wood itself. So that's to say that the wood is actually not really well protected, or it's been a bit, uh, it's been quite some time uh, without a proper finish. This is this is just fair wood. So I think after I stain it, I'm going to be putting my own other polyurethane or maybe wood wax or something so I tried to remove this um, not but I was not able to I think they had it glued just a bit and the wood is kind of fragile so I'm not going to try and remove it at all I'm just going to keep it on because we're not doing any pain painting anyway it's just staining
this is the finished product and on camera maybe it looks kind of okay uh, but if you see it in person it's actually really really orange uh, there's a very heavy orange color in the back of it but the tin itself I would say it looks actually pretty good some parts of it are like you can see spots or parts that are just like refusing to allow the stain to attach to it but the reason behind this is because those parts actually have glue on them and that's why they don't allow the stain to adhere so much okay so I really don't like this color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint over it so I that I get the color that I want so it's a shame because this is this is a, a wood piece so I feel like there was actually so much potential but because I chose the wrong color of stain um, you know lesson then I'm not gonna use that stain color anymore unless I'm trying on a different type of wood I believe this may be pine wood so uh, maybe another wood would react better to the stain that I bought the Kim Tung one however this is a bench that is outside my house uh, when I bought over this house the previous owner left this bench with us uh, and I used the same Kim Tone stain on this and I thought it was pretty okay because uh, I think it already had a base color and it was already a bit dark so I think this color if it's on top of an already existing color would be kind of okay but otherwise I think it may be just a bit too orange so some of the parts that you can see here so these are actually parts that were just I, I sanded off a bit too much and that's the reason why it's more orange than the other parts so what I'm gonna do is uh, if you guys are interested come back for part 2 and I'm gonna see what color to color this thing and also not to mention the hardware so we're gonna color those uh, a different color maybe rose gold maybe black depending on the color of the background can you see you guys